In this video, we're going to build the Hello World app using Android Studio. So I'm going to start Android Studio. On the Welcome to Android Studio screen, I'm going to select Start a New Android Studio Project. In the Create New Project window, I'm going to name the application Hello Space World. And in the company domain, this is either the name of your company or whatever it is that you want your package to be called. If I called it appficial.com, my package name is going to be com.appficial.helloworld. Also, in the project location, this will tell you where all your app files are going to be located. Select Next. This is the target Android devices screen. By default, phone and tablet is selected. Also in the minimum SDK dropdown, the default is Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, which tells you that it targets 99.2 of all Android devices out there. If you were to select a newer version, such as Android 6.0, the Marshmallow version, you'll only target 39.3% of the devices. So you want to target as many people as possible. So I'm going to select the default 4.1 because there's no features that I need in Android 6.0 just to run a Hello World app so that's fine with me. Select Next. Leave the default as Empty Activity and select Next. In the Customized Activity, leave the default name Main Activity and the layout name as Activity underscore Main. Also leave these checkboxes checked. So leave all the default options and click Finish. And then Android Studio, the IDE, is going to start up any second. So as Android Studio starts up, and if you look at the bottom of the screen, it says Executing Tasks. It's going to do a lot of things in the background. You can see that the activity main.xml and the main activity.java files were already created for you and there's some code already in there. It looks like there's some errors because it's red font, but that's because it hasn't finished executing the tasks on the bottom of the screen. So we'll wait for that to completely finish. And once it's done, we'll explore the code a little bit and run the app. So it says Gradle build finished, but once the little wheel stops spinning and all the red font goes away, then you know it's finally done and we can run the app. So let's take a look at main activity first. It has a method called onCreate that we override. We're replacing the method that comes from app compat activity. And notice that main activity extends it. That means that this is giving your app backwards compatibility for older versions. onCreate is the method that's called automatically when this main activity screen of your app loads up for the first time. And what it's doing first is that it calls super.onCreate. It calls the original onCreate method so that it keeps all the original functionality. Then we're setting the content view to r.layout.activity underscore main. R stands for resources. That's this RES folder right here. Layout is the subfolder. And activity underscore main is this XML file. So let's open that up and you could see that oh, there it is. You can see that there is what appears to be a screen of an app with the words Hello World in the middle. You can select the words Hello World and let's make the font size a little bit bigger. I'm going to select View All Properties, scroll down and look for Text Size, and just select something bigger that makes Hello World a little bit bigger. And also, this is the design tab. You can toggle between that and the text tab to view the XML of that file. That's basically the whole app, and it's already created for you by default by selecting that empty activity. So you don't have to type anything. And now all you have to do to run the program is click the green Run button. And it's going to ask you to select your deployment target. Which Android virtual device do you want to run it on? And I don't have any virtual devices yet. But what I could do is click on Create New Virtual Device. And then I get a list of options of all the phones that Google makes, such as the Pixel. Select that or any of these devices that you want. Then click on Next. I'm going to leave the default image as Nougat. Select Next. Let's click on Finish. Now the Pixel 
phone is in my list of virtual devices. Select that and click on OK. This is actually creating a virtual device that looks just like a Google Pixel phone. And just like a Google Pixel phone, it's going to start up for the first time like, like a real phone would. And then when it's done, it's going to have all the same basic apps that a Google Pixel phone has. So you can see the phone just started up, but look at the bottom of the screen, it's still executing tasks. It says Gradle build running, wait for that to complete. And then you should see the Hello World app loading up on the screen with the text that says Hello World right in the middle. So there it is, that's the Hello World app. It's just a single screen app, one activity that says Hello World right in the middle. You can even put, you can even close the app and click on the up arrow on the Android desktop and view all your apps that you have on the emulator and you can see your own Hello World app is right there. You can click on it and it'll start it right back up again. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.